Welcome back to StoryTube, everybody. So, want to do another little quick book review. Hopefully, this won't be too rambly or too long because this book is not rambly or long. I read Dennis Lehan's Small Mercies. Dennis is back. I haven't read Dennis Lehan since I was a teenager. And I was just drawn to his newest book, which is his first book in like six or seven years. So, or more even. So what did Dennis Lehan write? Well, he wrote a urban crime noir book set in Boston. What a change of pace. My boy's wicked smart. So, if you don't know me, I am Irish. Dennis Lehan is also extremely Irish. <laughs> um, Dennis Lehan is from a family of first generation Irish immigrants. His mother is from the west coast of Ireland. And Dennis's understanding of Irish culture and Irish, um, the Irish sense of humor, or Irish sensibilities is extremely, extremely accurate. He writes Irish people, particularly Irish Americans, extremely well. And obviously Boston is basically big Dublin. Look at these two troublemakers. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Wicked cow, is that new? Um, and I think it's why I like reading Dennis Lehan or watching Dennis Lehan movies as well. Um, is I, I find that fascination, or I find a fascination in the transposing this culture that exists on this tiny island to this huge city over in America and what stays with people over there in those later generations of, of, of immigrants. And it's something, it's a, it's a huge theme in all of Dennis Lehan's um, works and the films that have been made of those works. Anyway, I was excited to read Small Mercies because this one is set in the mid 70s in Boston during this issue known as busing. So the desegregation of white and black schools and white and black neighborhoods began in, the, in 1974 with the idea from the government of busing, which was busing white kids from white neighborhood schools over to black neighborhoods and black neighborhood schools and vice versa with black kids going to white schools. Um, was that a good idea? A lot of people think it wasn't, but it also gave opportunity for rampant racism and violence to then spring up as it always seems to seems to do and Dennis Lehan tackles these themes through the perspective of a foul-mouthed chain-smoking ass-kicking alcoholic slightly racist middle-aged Irish American mother from South Boston from Southie called Mary Pat Fennessy so Mary Pat Fennessy in this book, her 17-year-old daughter, Jules, goes missing on the same night that a young black kid um, is killed by the train tracks. And the Irish mob might be involved. There might be political um, ramifications, specifically because of this busing situation that is going on at the moment. So there's a wonderful sense of history and, and the, the time period is very, very important to the story, but also with looking at race relations in America and in predominantly white or black neighborhoods, all of the characters in this book, all of the white characters in this book, by today's standards, would probably be considered racist. There's one particular character that I don't really think is racist at all, but Mary Pat Fennessy, our main protagonist, is quite racist by today's standards. And also, I think, in the context of this book, she is. But I don't think she's the worst kind. And I, find, I found that to be a very interesting aspect in the book. But also, Dennis Lehan says in his introduction here that he set out to be extremely economical in this book and that he didn't want to mince words or waste words. So it reads extremely quickly. It's a lot of dialogue. There's very little in the way of 
um, narration sometimes, and then you'll get entire passages of narration, but it's it, everything is serving a purpose. And this is one of the tightest crime books I've ever read. There is a constant balance between paradox, pressure, and metaphor, which is something that my old screenwriting teacher uh, taught us about writing a damn good movie. And I can tell that Dennis Lehan has been working in TV for the last few years because this book is dripping with all of that. There is always something to unpack in every single scene, whether it's to do with the setting or the political situation that's the backdrop for the story, whether it's directly in the dialogue of the characters, this internal struggle that Mary Pat Fennessy has of confronting her racism for the first time, even though she thinks she isn't. She's constantly like, well, they have they, their neighborhood and we leave them alone so they can do their own thing as long as they don't do it in my backyard. And that is racist. And her coming to the realization that that is racist is, is really, really compelling. But also the central mystery itself. What happened to her daughter? Was her daughter actually involved in the murder of this young black kid? What kind of person is she now that she might have raised a kid who was involved in something like that? What creates slow, gradual, imperceptible radicalization that then leads to violence in people who wouldn't necessarily be radically violent over race issues of race? This is basically a revenge tale. It's kind of like a John Wick, Liam Neeson movie, Revenge Tale. But the person doing all the ass kicking or outsmarting It's smart. It's wicked smart. Or outwitting everybody is a 45 year old Irish American mammy. <laughs> Which also I found really, really refreshing. This was a super entertaining book. I think I read it in two days. And uh, yeah, Dennis Lehan is back. So if, if this sounds like it might be your cup of tea, please read it because it is crime fiction distilled to its absolute best. It's extremely well written, wonderful characters, a wonderful sense of place. Obviously, Dennis Lehan is from Boston, so he knows Boston well. He's not getting that car in there. But he also gets Irish culture. That's a not ain't got no driver. That's all right, he's got smart pot. And he distinguishes Irish Irish from Irish American and what is brought over from Irish into Irish American and that bleeding of the two cultures together to create this unique melting pot in Boston, which I find so fascinating. My only complaint for the book is that I kind of wanted more perspective um, or to follow a character maybe from the black neighborhood. Mary Pat is friends with the mother of the black kid who gets um, murdered at the start of the book. I kind of wanted her perspective as well. But there is a very, very powerful scene at the end of the book between the two of them that I think sort of made up for it. But if I do have one criticism, it is quite a white, heavy book, which I guess is also understandable. Dennis Lehan is from that neighborhood. So um, he writes about those, those people from that perspective and their gradual change in mentality. I don't want to give too much else away about the story because obviously it's a twisty crime thriller. Um, so read it for yourselves. But honestly, it's one of the better written noir books to come out in the last while. So I highly recommend it. And yeah, Dennis Lehan's back. If you've read Dennis Lehan, uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite Dennis Lehan. And uh, if you're going to check out this new one, if you haven't read it yet, also let me know. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. Uh, hopefully we'll get more book reviews out in the future. We haven't done some in a while. So anyway, that's me. I'm going to shut up now. Bye. I don't give a shit about all that because you know what? I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some fucking book.